Hi, this is Suze Eleven Tarot, and this is for Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And I shuffled and I pulled these cards out, and then um, I, I wanted to get some water and put it here. So, um, let's see. Mm, okay, so the first card was uh, Lost Compass, Getting Back to Integrity. Okay, so um, with that, know that you were not... Uh, you might have felt out of control in some situations and that um, that maybe um, things m may have felt like they got a little out of hand okay so um, okay so watch out for any um, any uh, guilt or shame or uh, fear um, that you you may have um, felt okay and within yourself and um, be gentle on yourself and forgive yourself and release it because what I see is this cosmic womb okay um, the divine feminine okay um, balancing that feminine and masculine aspect within self okay um, and when we do that then it, it resonates uh, into um, our relationships our uh, work experience and all around and what I see here is that you want to also um, birth something even greater than you have up to now and uh, and it's important that you feel centered uh, within yourself. So perhaps um, maybe taking um, you know uh, many breaks at work, uh, like 15 minutes at a time, different times a day, um, to get those um, you know those uh, creative juices flowing. Okay. Um, might even look into restorative yoga okay is what i'm picking up here okay all right so uh covenant uh sacred contract okay all right so now there's been some confusion with some people when things happen and don't go as they want okay uh then it's been kind of a trend to call it uh, give it a name okay so um, there's no need to give it a name um, just stay focused on uh, what you are you want to birth and create okay um, also okay contracts and I think this came up in another reading I think it was Taurus but I don't know if I, I uploaded or not um, okay so sacred contracts okay so um i say there is a rough draft contract of the things we want to experience and go through while we are here some some do write a contract and some don't and uh sometimes um some people just want to hurry and get into this experience and and they don't um they don't write up a long contract of the things that they want to experience and with uh, past ancestors okay so um, just know that uh, anything that you made an agreement can be um, changed renewed shifted recreated um, no one is bound to anything okay um, but what is meant for you is meant for you like for example um, okay so a job let's say you signed up to be um, an astronaut okay but then you ended up being on uh, another um, another uh, branch of that okay something like that or like okay so they're giving me the example of Madonna okay I think they're saying that she wanted to um, 
she was doing other things like dancing and stuff like that and then um, but then it, the later on you can see the bigger picture she was became a singer and a dancer something like that okay so um, it, whatever you know was written it can be expanded um, changed renewed okay so um, okay so if if there's other things that you would like to do or you can always uh, go within and um, ask and uh, or um, do affirmative uh, prayer thank you for blah 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 as if you <laughs> have received it okay okay so yes like thank you spirit for um, like that okay whale song resonating okay so um, this card um, I feel like you're in your element okay so this this can be now or up ahead okay whale song resonating okay being uh, in harmony with self and others is what I see for you here okay all right now okay Let's see. Okay, let's look into uh, tarot real quick. Okay, let's do you and uh, what you think opposes you. Okay, on this side. Okay, so Cancer. Oh, okay, it, this all came out together. Okay. Okay, so... Um, You got the Emperor and the Page of Coins. Okay, so this came up in, um, oh, this came up in uh, Earth Sign for Taurus. Okay, so what I'm feeling here is um, like a fa father-son kind of thing. Page, the Emperor and the Page, okay? Um, okay. So what I'm seeing here is look into father-son dynamics, okay, and see if uh, maybe, um, oh, okay, okay, here we go, okay, Fa looking into father-son dynamics, because sometimes when um, you, you connect with one parent and not the other, um, that can... Okay, so that can cause you to lean um, in your feminine aspect more or your masculine aspect more. Okay, so um, it's like compensation is what I'm seeing here. Okay, um, okay, so looking into the past, okay, you don't have to look in the past. Just be aware that if something comes up, that uh, if if it keeps coming up, look into parent uh, issues. Okay. Uh, the other thing is for Taurus, um, there uh, was uh, being concerned about um, the future of a child. And okay, so their child was a little bit older. Okay, but thinking about like. Um, you know, the future of the child and saving up money for the child. Okay, like that. Okay, for some of you, okay, um, this is, uh, okay, so for some of you, you were like in like business where you had a business and uh, it, it was going strong, but then things changed, um, things changed 
and then you had to start all over again, okay, with this page of coins. That's for some of you. And perhaps some, it was perhaps maybe because of um, the C word. <laughs> okay, all right. So, okay, so that's another story. And then, um, okay, here we go. So we go into, okay, so then the page of coins follows with the six of cups reversed. Okay, feeling like um, your relationship in the past that, um, that you can't move forward in it. Okay, but then it's followed with the Ace of Wands. So the passion is still there, okay? The passion is still there. Okay, so it's just a matter of um, getting that um, fire renewed in you again. And so how do we renew the fire? Give me a minute. Mm, okay, so this is interesting. Okay, so for example, if you were a water sign and you were attracted to a fire sign, that may have been uh, because you want to uh, renew the fire within you. So, um, okay, so uh, breath of fire, okay, um, they have these quick breathing. It's like quick breathing, okay? Do those kinds of exercises where you're breathing in, like from the gut, and quick breaths is what I'm getting, but from the gut. And that can pull in that, uh, that chi energy uh, to move, okay, your um, dream and mold it uh, more precisely, okay, because in the past, maybe you didn't feel like you were, um, it, things were moving the way you wanted to. But, um, okay, so the solution, the suggestion is to renew the fire within you to take this and flip it, okay? And then um, what you're, okay, because see, both of these cards, they're looking that way. Okay, so that's past. Okay, is, is okay. So um, whatever it is you want to uh, renew, you can renew it. Okay, that's the message here. Okay. All right, Cancers, I'm going to leave that with you. Okay, let's see. Let's get one. Um, let's get a love message. You are my most beautiful someone. Okay. Okay, so um, what I'm getting is that you don't realize that to somebody you are the most beautiful person. Okay. So whoever this was also thinks that too. Where was that? Whoever this was also thinks that too. Okay. Oh, okay. And so whoever this is, you think that about them. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave that with you. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Twinkie's doing that fire breath for you. <laughs> my, my little Twinkie. <laughs> okay. As a Scorpio. Mm, 
Okay, I was feeling this. Okay. All right. Okay, Scorpio. You pick, let's see, woodwives and adaptability. Okay. Overflow, overwhelm, and plenty. Watchers, transpersonal. And sky dancers, surrender. Okay. All right, Scorpio. So what I'm picking up is, okay, in the past, maybe you weren't as flexible. You're becoming more flexible, but also it is suggesting maybe um, around August, by August, it's going to become um, just like breathing, being flexible in your life experience, okay? Um, and this flexibility, this adaptability is uh, going to help you open up uh, more avenues for your abundance and prosperity. Okay. And then that, okay. And um, this flexibility is going to open you up to uh, more uh, satisfying relationships within your friendships, social circles, and business. Okay? Overflow, overwhelm, and plenty. Okay, so um, many of you have abundance, okay? Um, but there's that certain something thing that you still want, but is causing uh, or in the past has caused dissatisfaction. Okay, so the suggestion is to turn away from that one thing that causes you uh, dissatisfaction and focus on what is um, pleasing and abundant in your experience, okay? And then it will uh, pretty much like pull in okay what it what that one thing is okay so it's um if you stay focused on that one thing then um that dissatisfaction will grow like uh from things will grow from that because we we create what we focus on okay so think of a tree that you're a tree and you have all these branches okay what do you what branches do you want to grow on your trunk it's like that Okay, watchers, transpersonal. Okay, so I'm not sure what this card is. I just got this card, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, show you what I picked up. Okay, so I picked this up as a sun card. Okay, it looks like a uh, a lion there, and I'm also picking it up as a strength card like the two combined. Okay, so, okay, if you spend a lot of energy on that one thing that you want or um, that actually can cause um, tower moments where the energy comes and swipes everything through to kind of give you a, um, a clear, uh, clear slate is what I'm picking up. And, um, okay. Okay, so, well, that's natural because we are, um, we are creators and we're always expanding. So that's kind of like um, a natural, um, a natural thing that can happen but if we're aware of it then we can um, change it we can be we can expand but then we can uh, also be aware of what we're creating um, by the attention of where we're putting our uh, energy okay so um, 
sky dancer surrender so what I'm getting is if you okay as you become more flexible okay um, that opens even more pathways to abundance okay and um, and then that Sun energy comes in and okay so also the suggestion is um, be more open chested okay if you're more open chested okay about how you really feel okay see the crown lighting up there okay so um, yeah that way if you're more open chested and you can trust more in your experience and trust the um, that's the surrender trust the energy that is also supporting you the ancestors and uh, the energy that is supporting your physical apparatus and um, and you could do the dance of life being supported okay all right so let's go on to Pisces. <laughs> These are new cards. Let's do Pisces. Okay. Pisces. one more in here but okay all right so let's leave it there okay fool's embrace transmuting pain okay so immediately I was drawn to this this head okay uh, the sharp thoughts that keep coming through okay in personal experience okay so I, I I feel that you're already in this renewed uh, renewing energy the fool's energy the beginning okay of something uh, grand and new okay and releasing anything any thoughts um, that may have caused you discomfort okay Coming into, I love this card, um, Caterpillar. Okay, opportunity. Okay, so, wow. Okay, so there, there's a lot of opportunity for you coming up ahead. And, um, okay, keeping your spiritual eyes open, okay. Um, being tuned with that inner you, okay. Um, but also I see this as Venus energy, the pink, the, the violet. And uh, so love may be a concern of yours. Okay. So, okay. So it looks like you're closing the door completion. Okay. So you're closing the door to some things. Okay. But when you do that, then some of the same doors can open up with different energy is what I want to say to you okay so some new doors will be opening and also um, new doors that were experiences or people of the past okay opening up with renewed fresh high vibing energy okay all right Eyes of the Eagle. Oh, I love this card. Love the eye. 
Okay, so rising above the fray. Okay, so that is a very um, high priestess energy there. <laughs> okay, so I see you've gathered your spiritual juices and um, you have your eye exactly on what it is you want to create from now to the future. And um, Okay, so I'm seeing this as like little symbols, so sound, okay. Um, sound may be a good way to release um, these sharp thoughts of the past, okay, or from creating new ones in your experience so that you can open the new doors, okay. Um, okay, so... That looks really good. Okay, so let's see since you got the, um, I'm feeling Venus energy here, love energy. Okay. Pisces. Okay, it looks great. This is wonderful. Okay, so you've, okay. So releasing those painful thoughts and painful things, okay, can pull you into um, that uh, fiery, okay, creative energy, okay, Queen of Wands. Okay, so, okay, you went within. Okay, as the uh, Empress, uh, as the um, High Priestess energy is what I'm picking up, even though the Hermit is here. Okay, so you went within. Okay, and... Okay, also I'm picking up um, here that you may have halted any for, uh, future movement in a relationship here uh, with somebody. Um to pull in your fire again, your, um, your creative juices. Okay. And, um, because you want this, okay. The star, the wish and dream fulfillment. Okay. So you know exactly what you're doing. It looks like you're on course. Okay, for some of you, um, this isn't pausing the relationship. This may be a, a child here, okay? Um, also, I want to say, if you are focusing on creating the new, stay focused on yourself is what I'm picking up here. Um, as you focus on yourself and um, not concerned, you have more energy to put towards this the new uh, the new creation, okay. Um, so that's what I'm picking up there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you think someone is watching you, <laughs> they probably are. <laughs> okay, so let's leave it there. Okay, so the star wish fulfillment wishes and dreams coming true. Okay, that looks great. Okay, Pisces, let's pick up a love card. All right, let me just do this. They're sticking. Hey, you know I love you, right? Aw, see? Okay, you are love, Pisces. Hey, you know I love you, right? Okay, so... Um, that could be from spirit. Uh, that could also be from a love interest. Okay, I'll let you decide on that. Thank you, Pisces. Thank you, water signs.